Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been asked loads of times this this uh, homemade DIY CNC machine. Um, obviously, if you pull this on Instagram, um, it cuts wood, um, does steel up to I think it's 20 mil, 18 mil, which obviously I don't do that. Um, it does wood engraving, and today, guys, I'm going to show you metal engraving. Um, so first of all, what we'll do, it's a normal, as you can see, it's a normal, let me use yours, it's a normal Makita router. Now, the bit inside is an eBay special, um, to be fair. And if we have a look, it's just one of these um, diamond cutters. Now, obviously, it's made for a quarter inch shank. It's about 12 quid with some spur glass cutters. And as long as you're not too harsh, they do last a wee while. And obviously, when you engrave with this, um, you don't don't turn the router on. Yeah, it's basically a drag drag tip. And I've been messing around this morning, different things from fill and just an outline. So I'm going to show you guys on how I go about this, and I'll show you what it turns what it turns out like. So first of all. To fasten any of the engraving, engraving pieces on the board, basically what I do is I'll stick it, stick some masking tape on that side, stick some masking tape on that board. Now, obviously, it, it's got to be level, that's why I've got certain certain pieces of wood to level it now as you know i've been through these here you can adjust the heights but it's all mainly set up for the plasma because of the floating head there's more to it than that so i don't want to adjust anything drastic just for the sake of some tags so i'll level i'll level it with these because that's that's what i've been messing around with so once you've got your masking tape on there what i'll do is just put a bit of glue on there Stick the tag on back to back. And that's it guys. That's stuck on. Um, and that won't be coming off. So what we'll do, I'm just going to um, fly you through Vectric again. I'm just going to stop the vid and then start it when I'm open Vectric. Because again, if you've followed all my videos, sheet cam for plasma, but everything initially is done by Vectric. Because Vectric will do engraving, it does it does a host of stuff and it's pretty good. So I'll just quickly show you and we'll uh, we'll just draw a pattern or a word on this one and we'll see what it looks like. Not be a sec. So I'm there, guys. Well, Vectric. Um, like I said, I'll do this on the fly. Uh, always always better that way rather than rehearse it. And then if st stuff goes wrong, you can see it go wrong. Um, my job area at the top here is 50 by 50. That's because my circular disc is basically uh, 50 mil diameter. Um, click on that one. Like I say, a circle 50 inch diameter. Close that. You can zoom that in. Put my circle. Pretty much my disc then in my work area. Pretty much know where everything is then. So let me have a look to see what we can. Uh, Engrave rather than just basic letters. Uh, let me have a look. So we've got some beer pots now. This is pretty small now, whether it does it or not, don't know, but we'll soon find out. Happy days. So we'll try and engrave this, guys. So everything obviously in the gap, the outline, it will engrave. So again, with that trick, let me just get the circle in the middle there. There we go, pretty much clearance. So what we do is obviously I don't want I don't want the circle uh, because that's just a reference to obviously the disc that I'm I'm cutting. So what we'll do is let's group all those. And then on the top whack, we'll go quick engrave. Now you can actually, you can do it this way, obviously as it cuts through and just set the depth of cut. But obviously with Vectric, you've got, you can have 
the fill and the outline. Now I've done on both, the fill takes a bit more time but it looks miles better and you can obviously colour it in then on whatever colour you like. Outline is pretty good if you're mainly doing, if you want to engrave on spanners and stuff like that, not too bad. But you can't kind of, it doesn't, because of spring loaded on on the diamond tip, there's only so much pressure it'll take. So you might think, oh, I'll bung it, it's two mil. It doesn't matter. It, the CNC will just crush the tip on the spring loaded part. So on the outline is not so good if you wish to kind of spray it black. On a, on a silver line it, it just doesn't go deep enough um, so I quite like this fill you've got you can click the step over which is obviously you can have not put not that's how tight the lines are um, and you can obviously set as well a 90 degree angle so you'll, you'll see them there that's that, that's pretty much if we go to example cross edge nah Go to the 90. That'll do. And that's and that's it. We'll have 0.5 mil pressure. That's pretty much the diameter of my drag tip. Uh, but again, it doesn't doesn't really make much difference. To be fair, I find on that. Um, so we'll calculate. So that'll be the path that it starts to colour in. So we'll uh, let me save the tool path. Quick engrave one. Save it to desktop. Yeah, we'll replace that one, and that that should be ready, uh, which is ready for Mac three. So I'll let us set Mac three up, and I'll uh, punch it in as normal, like the plasma cutter, and let's watch it. Uh, we'll watch it engrave. Be back in a sec. Thank <laughs> you. 